I don't care if you're dead. If you're dead, I'm fishing no more, can you try not? Well, good morning, folks. Beautiful day here on the Coosa River. Two days after a bad front. I usually don't like to fish after a front, but sometimes I'm going to go fishing when I can because it's good for me. Now, right now, the surface temperature is at 76 degrees on top this morning. Let's do a little bit of crappie fishing, one of my favorite ways. Not the best way, but right now, I'm a liking it. Yep, two days after a front, I tell you. I really, to be honest with y'all, it takes three or four days after a bad front. Of course, we had a really bad front. It flooded. These rivers and lakes around here are flooded. If you notice, the water color is a little bit stained. I'm back here in a backwater area amongst a lot of houses. And what we have right here is just little bitty docks sticking out. So I'm going to focus on the end of these docks probably on the deep side and what i'm going to do is use a six and a this is a six foot eagle claw rod light action four pound test mr crappie and a cadence reel this is the cs10 and i have a bobby garland bait right here and i have a weedless jig that i put i put my own weed guards in these jig heads i catch a lot more fish and it's a lot cheaper. I buy jigs in the bulk. Uh, I can get a bag of 100 for $13 and make up 100 of these for $13. 40 pound test weed guard in a Bobby Garland. That's a new color. I don't know what it's called, but because of the water color, look at that jig. If y'all can see that. Does that not look good in this kind of water color? Let's start right here on this dock and see what we can do. Now these docks is ranging anywhere from four to five feet of water right on the end of them. It's not very deep at all. But, whoops, excuse me. But this is where the crappie should be because I see a lot of shad flipping. Small thread fin shad. Let's just look here. They. That's a pretty good crappie right there. Not no giant, but a pretty good one. Black crappie. Look at there. It's kind of predictable where these fish should be. I go by water temperature and time of year. Water temp and time of year. Let's let him go. Boy, that's a good eating size right there. He hammered that jig. No doubt about it. Go on back there. He's got his mouth about halfway open. He don't even know what happened. I don't really because that was quick. You know, there's probably another fish or two on this dock. Um, I didn't know there was a crappie there. I just know that the bait are back here. The bait's back here, excuse me. And then when you have bait, structure, water temperature, like it is, I know there's crappie back here. Now that fish hit about two and a half feet below the surface. As a general rule of thumb, if I'm fishing a five foot dock, I'll let the jig, um, fall about halfway if it's a 10 foot dock it would have been five foot right here it's around two and a half feet crappie or up feeders very important to fish a little high for them and to maintain that depth at two and a half feet folks i got once i start retrieving i gotta retrieve the same speed Golly, that was a thump. No wonder this is good fish right here. That was a thump, no doubt about it. I believe I'm going to net this, and that's a good fish. 
good fish. It was just, folks, it was just thump. Just thump. Look at there, what a crappie. My, 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 my. What this shows is, is little bitty docks, little bitty structures like this hold big crappie. Don't ignore them. That fish was about two and a half feet under the surface on the five foot dock. There's not a sport on earth like it. It's a sport, well, second to none. Go on back, you big son of a gun. Now that was a lot of fun. And there's nothing else to do but catch another one. Woo! This is a blue ice that I'm throwing right now, which is my favorite color. I tell you, day in and day out, I catch more crappie with a blue ice than I do any other color. And I believe it's just because my confidence, all in my confidence. If you got a con if you got a color that's in your confidence zone, tie it on and throw it. There we go. Come on out there. Boy, that's a good fish right here, folks. If I can get him out. I mean, that's a good one right there. That's the kind I like to catch. Y'all do too. Look here what a crappie. My, 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 my. Let's net him before we lose him. That's a good one. I just kept on with it until I got him. My goodness, what a fish. That's a slab daddy. That's a slab daddy. Do y'all feel it? Do you feel it? Woo! I'm talking about. There's people around. I just want to scream. I just want to let it out. Woo! Mm, mm, mm. Just nearly done it on it. I want you to look. They... One more time. They... My, 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 what a crappie. <clears throat> there he goes. All these docks is averaging five feet on the end of them, folks. That's it. That's not much water. But this time of the year, crappie will come up shallow. I've caught them in two feet of water. Two feet of water up under a dock. That, there's no telling where they'll be. Weather conditions is what di dictates where they'll be. I can't, I'm so excited. There we go. My, my, my. This is a good one right here, folks. It's the first white crappie I've caught. All of them's been black crappie. This is a different species of crappie. Boy, that son of a gun nailed that jig I'm talking about. I was about to hurry up and reel it back to the boat to make another skip. And he grabbed it just before I started reeling. My goodness. Look at there. Is that not a beautiful fish? What are you doing? You look funny with that in your face like that. Let's let him go. Go on back, you pretty thing. That's a good fish. That's what I'm talking about right there. Whoa. There we go. My, my. Come on out of there. Come on out of there, boy. Let's flip him in. That's a good fish right there, too, folks. I'm catching some good ones today. That's a good black crappie. Let's let him go. That dock right there is a six-foot dock, and I caught him around halfway. That's my rule of thumb. Three feet deep. 
most of the time, unless the barometric pressure is really high, and then they'll they'll go on towards the bottom. Well, folks, that's the end of it for today. Colors, well, it didn't matter today. I throwed every all kinds of different colors on purpose and was very successful. When crappie are, are real active like they were today, it don't make any difference. Um, the water temperature is falling. Fall is here. I want to say God bless each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for all the great comments. Everything y'all do for this channel. Hey, dog, on it. <laughs> Woo. The bug. Woo. I'm talking about. Better remember. Go fish it when you can. Bug on it. Good food.